Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. Okay, so today was just a fun day to get out, have fun, and just kind of enjoy the sights. I'm going to throw just one thought in and then I've just got a bunch of video of the different sites by the Golden Gate Bridge that I took the trails and looking down over the Golden Gate Bridge, etc. Okay, so when you're dealing with narcissist abuse, which essentially this video is not about, but it, a thought did come up to me when I was out there on the bridge. When you go through it really bad for a long time or just really bad and someone really kind of gets to you it can shock you to the point where you don't want to go out in public and it can cause you to isolate for a very very long time and one of the challenges is now that it's been a few years that you've walked and blocked you've cut all these people out you've had the great wall of china up you've allowed your mind and your emotional system to process through all this now it's time to integrate back into society now today I was just I wanted to get out it's been beautiful the weather is perfect it's not too hot it's uh, it was in the 70s today so it's really really nice and got a nice cool fresh wind and I thought you know what screw it I'm gonna go to Golden Gate Bridge the Golden Gate Bridge is literally for me I think it's about 12 minutes to the bridge some maybe 14 minutes so you know you live in an area you just kind of accept things or not don't accept things but you kind of overlook it like ah no big deal and then you move away and you go god i wish i would have went there more often well so i lived out in arizona in scottsdale arizona and um, went to arizona state university and i never went and saw the grand canyon and to this day i regret it so now it it I get out, like I go to Mirror Woods a lot, which is really close to Golden Gate Bridge. It's like a five minute drive from there. Well, maybe 10 minutes because you got to go inland. So Mirror Woods is amazing. But if you do go there, you have to get reservations now. It is packed. You have to get reservations in, in advance. I don't know how to do it, so look it up online. So I've been going there since I was a kid. I've been there probably 30 times in my life, maybe even more actually. I've been there quite often. So the Golden Gate Bridge is a place that I really like to go. And I never really, st I, I've driven over it a lot, but stopping and just hanging out, like I haven't really done it that much. So this is the year that I'm starting to do that more often. And to be honest with you, I really just wanted to get out in the sun. It was kind of an excuse. Now, I do have videos, so it's coming up soon. All right, so back to the tip. One of the things I did when I started coming out of the whole isolation thing, I started to just kind of pop around different stores, different places, and then there was someone that I knew that worked in. I, I'd known this guy for freaking, oh God, 12 years or longer. So I would just hang out and talk to him for a while, and then it was kind of... I think because of the whole coronavirus thing kind of became a place where three or four people, maybe even a fifth person, we kind of just hang out and talk by the front door, kind of like a coffee shop uh, vibe. And so it really became a place where I would just hang out because I knew this one person, felt safe with him and just kind of hung out. And then next thing you know, people walking, hey, Mike, what's going on? I haven't seen you since the whole lockdown. And you know, you talk to people, you meet with people, and I kept bumping into people. I met some new people. Then someone, there's a restaurant to go to, and a lady walked in. She talked to me. So essentially what it does, it gets you back out. It gets you back out into socializing and interacting with people. Now, I do have an advantage. Um, I'm an energy healer, and I'm also a therapist, essentially. I do neuro-linguistic programming, which is a form of psychology, Ericksonian hypnosis, and I know, and, and timeline therapy, et cetera, et cetera. So I know a lot of different techniques. I know how to meditate and there's a bunch of techniques and things that I've used to help me to heal. And also I've got a series of emotional grounding techniques and that's really important. Now let me kind of give you a reason why. So just about, oh, four days ago, I went to the store, bought some food and then I bought a sandwich. I had to make me a sandwich, a really good sandwich. Love getting the sandwiches at this deli. And I just went uh, just a couple stores down to the Starbucks and on the outside they have some little tables and I just you know, sat there. But what I did was I, I did some deep breathing, not, not very much, not too intense, just kind of a relaxing, deep, relaxing breath. And then I grounded myself. I brought myself into the present moment using very specific techniques and boom, I'm there. And so I've been doing that for 
a few years, I would say very much so uh, about 12 months or more now. And then last nine months for me, it's like, it's kind of like, how to explain it? It's like, I'm out of the storm. So when I go places, they ascend, okay, when you ground yourself and you keep going back to the same place, that place will trigger you to go, it's like an anchor to go into grounding. It'll ground you unconsciously. So this place becomes a very relaxing, calm place that brings you into the present moment. And I've done this with the Golden Gate Bridge, etc., and, you know, sites and places I go. So when I go there now, it's just kind of a fun place to go. It's very relaxing. I interact with people. I socialize, uh, etc. So I'm at a point now where I'm just, uh, I'm actually doing better now than before the whole narcissist attack and all the stuff I went through. Uh, I'm a much more grounded person. I'm much more confident, much more comfortable, etc. So if you need coaching, I absolutely can coach you on these techniques. I've been teaching this stuff for over 30 years now. I'm trained, I'm certified, I've got over 51 certifications and all of this stuff. So my overall message is this. Number one, you absolutely can heal from this. You absolutely can. You should become much more comfortable and much more confident with yourself around other people. Now I'm gonna give you, okay, I'm gonna give you some, okay, here's something else that I did. All right, today's a perfect example because I absolutely did it quite a bit, actually. So when I went to the Gold Gate Bridge, I'm sitting up on this wood board thing where everyone's like taking pictures and stuff. And um, I'm looking at people and I'm looking at this one guy. Oh, that guy is so arrogant. He's, only, he's like the tough guy, you know, just over the top, right? Ego, machismo, just over the top. Could he be a narcissist? Eh, maybe, probably, but I don't know. But I do know this, I absolutely did not like his vibe at all. I would not, ha if that guy walked up and tried to con a conversation, I'd be polite and say, okay, you know, after about a couple seconds, 30 seconds, like, you know, I've got to go and, you know, or whatever, I've got to call someone. So I would not have an open door to someone like that. And then I saw this couple, they were probably about my age, probably 50 or something like, maybe a little bit older. And uh, they needed some help with their bikes, the, they, they were battery electric bicycles the battery died and so the lady needed help and i noticed so actually i'm like oh you're from new zealand and they're like yeah yeah and they'd really positive vibe very positive now someone like that i would open up to which actually i did i talked about uh some people the bulls from new zealand tris bull john bull and their mother peg bull that i met during my five-week nlp training in in hawaii then costa mesa a year later etc and how we got to know each other so I did actually have about a 15, 20 minute conversation with them. So essentially what I'm saying is this, number one, ground yourself, do deep breathing, you know, like, or learn how to do grounding techniques. A lot of people say, oh, it's all about being grounded. And they actually don't know there's actually steps to take. There's different techniques, different ways of doing it. And you got to find the techniques that work best for you. So number one, get out there in public. Go out there and start to mingle. Going to the Golden Gate Bridge is great because I don't know anyone there. Nobody there knows me, so I get to pick and choose who I want to interact with and who I don't. Number two, ground yourself while you're there. Just enjoy the sights. Like one of the things that helps me ground is looking off in the distance, and there's massive distance left, right, front, back. The it was a high pressure system, so you could look way up in this in the crystal clear blue sky. And here's the other thing that I did that I was leading up to. So while I was sitting there and on this, there's these big wood boards, I mean, big, like massive, like two feet by two feet by two feet. And they're lifted up in the air, a little bit higher than like a chair, but you can pop up on them, sit on them and there's cement pillars on the end. And it's essentially for people to put their stuff on, lean their bikes against or sit on or whatever. So I'm sitting on there and I just started looking around to seeing like who was angry and who was and like, I was looking for the difference in, in energy and mentality and attitude. Like who's, you know, and, and who's calm, who's very sweet, who's polite and who just has really nice energy. And I, I even said to myself, like, now who's the narcissist, you know, in the group here, just kind of look around, and see if you can spot them. Here's the point. 
before you never even thought to look for them you never even thought to avoid them so instead of having people just approach me and having no idea who they are and kind of catching me off guard i'm kind of watching looking looking after the guy approached me i won't, I won't talk to them and this person there so it was kind of a very peaceful experience because it's like you're looking at it from the other perspective now you're watching them okay that's it for the tips let's get to the golden gate bridge Hello everyone. Yeah, I just decided to go to Golden Gate Bridge, which is right up there. You can see, you can see a little bit there. So there's two pathways. There's a trail that goes all the way down here where those people are. Zoom in, maybe get them. And there's a trail on the other side. If you go all the way, wraps all the way around above the tone. Done that once. It's a pretty long track. Not too long, but anyway. So there's two sides. You can park on this side where I'm at. And then you can walk underneath and it comes out right there. So you kind of got to go this little walkway and it goes down the steps, goes underneath. Okay, so I kind of goofed up here. So if you're coming from the north side down 101 into or towards the Golden Gate Bridge towards San Francisco, you have to park on the west side, which is where I parked. If you want to park on the other side, you have to go across the bridge, pay the toll, make a U-turn, then come all the way back and park. Now, why you would want to do that, I don't know. So, all you have to do is park on this side, and then there's a stairwell. Like, if you look right, right there, on this side, it's like a walkway. It goes down to the right, and then you can go underneath the bridge. You can walk underneath. You can bring your bicycle if you have a bicycle underneath. And you can go to the other side. It literally takes a couple seconds. It's not a big deal. Now, if you're coming out of San Francisco across the Golden Gate Bridge, heading north, uh, right when you cross the bridge, there's going to be an exit, and it's going to—it's right. Well, it's just a little bit past this, and then it loops around to the right, right into the parking lot. Okay, I'm about halfway up. It's actually took me like two minutes to get up here. Probably from the parking lot, probably about five minutes, and another three minutes up that way. So it's not that bad. It's about an eight-minute walk. It's just—I really like this view. I'm show it to you. Kind of cool, huh? That bridge is giant. All right, we're gonna move on up the trail here. Do a little walking with you. What the hell? Why not? Give you an idea of how amazing it is. No, I'm just kidding. There was a there was a bird over there. I think it was a falcon. I should have got it, but I didn't. But yeah, there's a lot of wildlife up here. Sorry about the wind. There's a lot of wildlife up here. And you can go down this trail. There's another one down there where we can go down. I think I'm going to take the other one. This one's kind of... Yeah, this one, there's a lot of poison oak around here, I just noticed. At least I think that's poison oak right there. It's all up and down this thing, so I'm not messing with it. Alright, see at the top. Yeah, at the top, it's really windy. I'm going to try to find it by the, the, the hill. So there's the trail I was talking about. Walk all the way down to the parking lot. Or you can come up the street the way I did it. So, I'm going to go over here. Oh, not much. Okay, so just so you know, if you, if you haven't been here in a couple of years, you can't drive up here anymore. You can only drive down. So you've got to go. There's a tunnel. I don't know how to explain this to you. We have figured out, I don't know how to explain it to you, but there's a tunnel. You gotta kinda go around the other side, and then you go underneath, it goes all the way underneath, and then it wraps around. It goes quite a ways on the other side, so you gotta it's you better figure it out. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it to you. But there is a way to still get up here. You can come all the way around here and then go back down. And if you want to go north, do not go across the Golden Gate Bridge. Take a left, go under the tunnel. Um, I'm gonna go over there, but you won't be able to hear me because of the wind. I mean, look at this. The other side, by the way, it's a lot more, it's funner. Pe people are more social, they talk more, they've got hot dog stuff going on. And then, okay, so you've got the rest stop. Got... Okay, what I'm essentially saying is right across there on the, the bridge is where You've got a lot of people with hot dog stands, and that's where people are really social. On this side, they're not as social. Like, it's completely different 
thing. I think it's because everyone's taking pictures of themselves, but the vibe is totally different. On the other side, it is fun. There's there's literally like six or seven like hot dogs, and they got fresh vegetables and fruit and all kinds of things, tea, even coffee. Now, if you go into the city on the east side, they're both on the east side, by the way. There is another. There's a restaurant. There's a mini store where you can buy t-shirts and sweats and and hoodies and all socks i mean all kinds of stuff that have san francisco logos the golden gate bridge thing you know all kinds of stuff so that's a little bit different vibe but the funnest vibe is the one where i was pointing down the hill, hill where they have hot dogs and stuff again that's on the in inside of the bay on the east side okay but on the north side sorry about the wind i'll just let you watch I'm trying to block the wind with my hand. See all the cars. There's a bunch of views and also military where they have the uh, cannons. There's a cannon thing turned here too. That was for like, I think it was World War II or something like that. Which never came this way. Lo and behold, Shazam! Okay, the wind was kind of, the wind is actually really, it was about 40 miles an hour. Uh, there's always uh, police officers up there. There's the sheriff right, or the park ranger. So there's two park rangers up there today. So I'm just kind of showing you the view. There's, there's more turrets, cannons up there for, for World War II, etc. And I'm going to turn here and show you the ocean. Isn't that awesome? Now right across by the Golden Gate Bridge is Baker's Beach. Right next to the Gold, Golden Gate Bridge and going to the right, which would be west. Right there. Yeah, it's Baker's Beach right there in the middle. That's another beach, and if you get close to the Golden Gate Bridge, they're nude on that part. <laughs> so there's that. I mean, it is San Francisco. Okay, I've got a funny story about Baker's Beach. So me and my buddies on the left side of the Golden Gate Bridge, coming back about half a mile, one of my friends was fairly rich, and his parents owned this really nice yacht. It was a pretty good-sized yacht, actually. They even had, like, a bed where you could sleep underneath and an underneath area where you could eat food. And so it wasn't a massive yacht, but it was a good-sized yacht. Well, they had it lifted out of the water so he couldn't steal it. <laughs> Not steal it, but take it. And they had it locked up, and he found a way to get it unlocked and out. So we took it for a ride, okay? And they purposely did that. They paid for this thing to where it was lifted out of the water. It was locked up like there was no way you could do this. But somehow, I don't know how he did it, but he figured out how to do it. So I'm with the twins, Andrew and Luke, and I'm with him. And I, God, I'm drawing a blank on his name right now. So we went underneath the Golden Gate Bridge. And by the way, the water was vicious. It was rushing. And if we would have fell out, you would've, it would have it would have sucked you all the way out. You would Even with a life jacket on, you would not have survived. So we go over by Baker's Beach, and there's a, I saw it when it's lifted up because we went by another day with my with Andrew and Luke. They have a, they each have a oops hold on. Sorry about that, folks. Just another one of my fans. <laughs> no, just kidding. It was actually Gian, Gianna Gianni. I'm not sure I pronounced her name correctly. She's on our YouTube channel. So. This is kind of a funny story. So I saw it when it was lifted up and at the bottom, and I cannot remember the name of it. I'm going to call it the turret or the mast that goes underneath the boat. They had a really long, it went down pretty deep. I mean, I think it was like six to eight feet, maybe even further. So we're getting really close to Baker Beach. Now I've been there before and I've kind of walked out on the water. I'm like, whoa, 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 dude, you're going to snap that thing off. And, and it was just a bunch of like, I mean, they were younger, so I was probably 40, or no, I think I was 39. I was about 39. They were all probably like 29, 28, something like that, kind of wild. And I just like, whatever, man. So I ended up diving off the boat and just swimming to shore anyways. I figured if they're going to snap the thing, I don't want to be on it. So I don't know why I brought that story up, but that just reminded me of that um, <laughs> experience. That was a few years back, or more than a few years. All right, back to the video. So there's two ways to go. You can go up the stairs where that lady's going right there, or in this way where all the military 
where the soldiers used to stay. I'm gonna take you this way. It's kind of cool. Actually. You guys can see some of that. If you guys want to read that, you can stop it later. Get out. All right. Gotta be honest with you. Oh, yeah, it's a little jail. What's wrong with it? Hold on, let me fix that. Oh, those are bathrooms. I didn't even know those. So there's freaking bathrooms right there. I didn't even know that. That's cool. All right. I'll take you to the turret up here. I think there's two turrets with these big cannons. Like that back there. I think that's like a gun. Oh, but look, there's some big turrets up here. And again, there's the stairs. Maybe I'll walk up there and let you see it. Yeah, these had to have been like machine guns or something. Not machine guns, but you know what I mean. Up there where the cannons were. And there's some up, way up there too. This way. <laughs> I'm not sure if these were jails or that's just the way they have to to keep people out. This was again one of the uh, big guns or the big, big cannon where they would launch it if we ever got attacked. And like I said, that was another one. And there's some up on the hills, which you can see up there also if you go up that way. And now we're going to get to the good stuff. Sorry about the camera work, I'm just tired right now. Usually there's more people here. It's Friday. It's kind of chilly today. It's about 70 degrees with cold wind. There we are. There she is in all her glory. There's a bunch of locks. I think this is for couples. I, I forget, or maybe it's for people who died actually. I forget what that. I think there's a sign somewhere. I saw it online. Yeah, well, there's a lot. I haven't been up here for years. There's a lot more. I mean, we're talking about way more. Holy crap. So people put all these locks up here, and again, I don't know if it's for lovers, you know, couples, or someone died, or. Yeah, this is a couple. 
Probably for couples. Wow, so beautiful. That's it. I'm gonna go to the other side because it's funner. This side's always like this. No one's talking to no one. I'm doing what I'm doing, camera. Okay, this video went way longer than I thought it was gonna go. Um, I'm gonna make another video for the other side of the bridge. And it will definitely be much shorter than this one. And I think I'm gonna add the two clips I made for how to ground yourself emotionally. Um, I made it out there at the Golden Gate Bridge. So we'll see how long they go. These videos were way longer than I thought. This is not a normal video from my channel. If you're new to my channel, this is just kind of a day break, taking off, showing off the sites uh, in my area. That's it, guys. If you like the video, click, click like, click subscribe, make a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, there is a subs uh, not subscription. There's a donation link. It's a PayPal link right there in the description box. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.